Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Quan Anthony Drew here. Um, as usual, making my weekly nickels, weekly pennies. So you guys know the routine. Uh, this box was pretty good. Uh, I mostly just saved uh, nickels that were in VF Plus and or key dates. Or all well, not key dates, you know, some of key dates of the series. I guess you could say the key dates are a 390 in the uh, 50D, but I uh, unfortunately did not uh, find those, of course. However, I did find a pretty good nickel right there, and I'll show that when I get to the nickels. Um, starting off at the corner up here, I'm just going to call this the weird slash variety corner. Um, this nickel here, I, I only took a few of these that are just kind of out of the ordinary. Um, kind of trying to cut down on them. Uh, I found this 1994. Uh, I don't know if someone's dipped it in acid or what. It's kind of strange. Um, I don't think that's a minting error, but I guess it could be. I doubt it, though. Uh, I found a dime and a penny roll. I mean, in a nickel roll. So, uh, or no, actually, no, that was a penny roll, yeah. I was right the first time. Um, yeah, it's just a normal dime, you know. Um, I'm probably going to take a toothbrush and get some of the dirt off of here, make it shine better, and then put it with the rest of the dimes I found coin roll hunting because I want to be cashing them in. I'll probably make a video about that or something, I don't know. Um, and then this 1996 or 98, some structure grease. Um, Lots of grease to tell you that. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, right here is 1960D. Has a uh, little horizontal D, I would say. Um, you have to kind of look at it from a straight angle, but maybe you can see. I'm trying to hold the camera as straight as possible, but the D is kind of curved to the left a bit, and it's right between a nine and six. I think it should be a little bit to the right and under the six a bit more. So that was pretty cool. Um, it might be an over mint mark, not too sure though. I got this 1966, was in the same roll with it. Uh, it's with the Kennedy head. This is like my fourth one now. This has probably to be the best one. Um, it's like maybe AU condition. Still has a nice last year, and you can see the imprint right there. Um, here's 1960 Canadian, kind of bashed up, but still a young head portrait. And I got a nice uncirculated fourth design. And before I get on to the pennies and nickels, um, I just want to ask you guys a question, my viewers who actually watch my videos, well, not saying that all my 200 and some plus subscribers, you know, do or don't watch my videos, but, um, I'm just wondering if you guys enjoy me doing, uh, the metal detecting finds on occasion, coin store finds, and, um, you know, the weekly pennies and nickels video. Um, I feel like I've been going into the same routine, and I might be boring my viewers, and I don't want that happening. Um... So just tell me if you want me to maybe change up the video a little bit more, um, shorten down some showing stuff, less talking, you know, whatever. Um, however, I do try to explain things pretty well, and I have had a few people tell me that they learned quite a lot from me. Um, and I'm well educated for my age in coins. But if you guys want to see anything different, like maybe some of my antique stuff I have, or my, you know, metal detecting finds of the year so far, or just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, I could try to get that uh, worked out. Just depends on my uh, schedule and whatnot. Um, but I think I'll just stay with these videos because um, it's just so fun to make them, and I, I've you know a fun time making them and stuff. So, um, okay. Now moving over to the pennies here. Uh, these sweeties. I got uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen wheat pennies. Not twenty-six. Just about half of the amount I found last week. I'm not going to show all close-ups of all these. I got a 44, 45, um, 46, 46D, 249s, which is kind of, you know, I don't find 49s too often. This one's like AU conditions, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I got a 51D. Um, I got an S mint mark, 51S. It's nice to see that. Um, that's some corrosion by the S mint mark. That's okay. Uh, 55, um, 56D, 57, 57D, and 58D. These 57, 57Ds are in pretty good shape. So, that's pretty nice. Um, however, they are just, you know, common dates. 57 had a lower mintage, of course, of the 50s, one of the lower ones, um, of the late 50s. Actually, yeah, I think it did have the lowest mintage of the late 50s, um, other than the 55S. Um, I am now moving over to the nickels. Um, like I said, most of these are some of my key dates, slash... Uh, VF plus coins. Some are fine condition. 
the f best find uh, for nickels, just normal nickel, um, was this, 1938. And actually, this is the first one I found in a box. Um, I found others in rolls, but this is a uh, 38D, so I was pretty surprised to see that. They only made 5 million of these, so that's an awesome coin. Worth about a dollar fifty, but you know, that's that's okay, you know. Um, I got a uh, 1940 D. I'm not gonna actually, yes, I will. Why not? Um, D40 D as coin. 1947 plane. 1950 plane. That's pretty nice to see 50s. Um, I was hoping it'd be a D mint mark, but not this time. I got a 51 D. Pretty good shape. It's that kind of, you know, darker brown, kind of tan, you know, color to it. I like that. Uh, I got a 52, just kept it because, you know, why not? It's 52. It's in pretty decent shape. I got a uh, pile of two 1954s. Um, I just saw that right there. I think that's just, yeah, that's just dirt. Uh, I thought it was an error for a second. Um, 254s, you know, average condition, but they're plain, so that's nice. Um, I actually got a, another semi key date. Um, only 7 million minted, 7.8 million I think, 1955 plane, so that's pretty awesome to find, I think I found like 4 of those in the past couple weeks, uh, I found a 55D, which is going to replace the one in my book, because this one's like, you know, AU condition or so, so that's nice, still some luster on it, got a 56, dinged up, but that's okay, 57, and um, probably my best look at 1958 uh, plane, has some nice toning on it. Um, there we go. It's picking up a bit. Uh, steps are kind of complete. Not fully complete, of course. Uh, but you know, I got this, still got a full triangle up there, almost. I think that's almost a full triangle. Um, yeah, it's basically a full triangle. Other than a few incomplete lines. Um, and then, if you guys are wondering, I did score silver again. Still on my silver streak. Well, not still on it. I mean, I got back on it. Um, I scored a, uh, actually I scored two silver nickels, uh, really, really worn out 1943 P plane, um, probably the most worn out one I've seen, or gotten, uh, actually both, um, and then this 45D, which has a huge gash in the front of it, but, you know, still silver, silver, and, um, I'm glad to score some in this box, and that makes my total up to uh, 37 silver nickels for uh, this year, I think, yeah, 37 since February, so, three more, and I'll have a whole uh, roll of silver nickels, and uh, I think that's like, what, maybe about a little over, I could probably sell it for a little over $80, I think, um, that's what I've seen them sell for between 70 and 100, um, just depends, of course all circulated, but I could be wrong there. It could be like 40 or 50 bucks, or even 60. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm doing pretty okay. I mean, pretty good. Um, pretty okay. Um, but, you know, hey, still finding some good stuff. So there's still good stuff out there. And by the way, guys, um, I will be getting a uh, another package in the mail from CoinMaster. Uh, we did a little trade. Um, I'll tell that probably in the next video whenever I get the package, which should be sometime either tomorrow, which is Friday, or next week, which is going to be Monday, because it just depends. Um, he shipped it this Monday, but uh, I don't know yet if it's going to come today, which is Thursday, uh, Friday, you know, Monday, whatever, because it's being sent to my dad's work mail. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching, and uh, happy coin hunting. See you guys later.